Hello everyone. <laughs> that introduction was so rude. Um that's my game development no not that that's my game playing thing. Hello, hello there. Um that's my game uh let's play introduction. Let's let's go for my Hi everyone, my name is Alex. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm actually Alex and I'm back with the second Java 3D game development tutorial uh for Java which is going to be very very interesting today um, we will hopefully get some pixels drawn on the screen today which is going to be totally amazing to be honest we're actually going to start right off and I'm going to explain everything as time goes on if I don't explain uh, something for you today I'll explain that in the, in the next tutorial I'll also watch this video myself and see what it says so let's go so first of all, we'll need a buffered image, and I'm just gonna call it IMG. You can call it whatever you'd like to. We also need to import the buffered image, um, the Java AWT image, um, and instead of having it like this, because we we need some more stuff from this class, and one one thing from this or from this uh, import. Um, not even pop up when you have have your eclipse, so it's much easier to just put a star there. It means import everything from that package or from that class. So now what we want to do is we want to go down here. I think. Um, no, uh, we also need to create a public int. And I'm gonna call this the pixels. So pixel, pixel, uh, probably. And this is pretty much. I don't know how to explain this. Do I have my paint? <laughs> Hello, paint. Paint the rescuer. <laughs> I actually hate using paint, but uh, just for explanation purposes or tutorial purposes, I'll use paint. So <clears throat> the pixels. Um, what the pixels basically is is every pixel will pretty much be one pixel on the screen um, yeah I guess you've already noticed that but if we say this is the screen I'm so bad at drawing straight lines and paint um, but think of like a giant grid when you think of this um, like each one of those is one pixel um, but we will have to wrap them around the screen like that um, because otherwise it will just be a straight line with pixels and that's not what we want um, what we want is like we want to have some there and there we pretty much want to have an awesome line or an awesome screen of full of pixels so that's what we're going we're gonna to do today like randomly generated colors or, so, or something like that anyways um, we'll also need uh, to create two two new classes today we'll need the a B and we will also need 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 left found left found and we will need the A C and pretty much what we want to do with A B I think we should start with that um is that we would like to have the public int pixels in here too um uh, just just the same as we have right here oh click pixel and you can just have this wherever you'd like to after the int or after the pixel um doesn't matter um but anyways let's just make this final as well not not important that that's more like you can use it one time and change stuff uh from it more not so easily <laughs> more not so easily um anyways we are going to create the constructor public a b we'll do that and we'll see what's wrong with this thing ah uh, yeah it gotta be uh, initialized um, so we're going to do pixel uh, equals new int and we are going to choose new int actually going to initialize it from, from here first uh, let's go down. Let's see. I think I should initialize it. Initialize it. Initialize it in the. Yeah, I don't even have that yet. 
Oh. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's create the constructor for this class. Uh, because this is a canvas, and in this canvas class, we also have the main method, but it will also run the constructor at the same time from a class like this. So public void AA, and we'll go for that, and then we'll do pixel equals new int, and we're going to choose width times height for the pixel. So that's pretty much um, the width times the height. Um, could I find my calculator? Uh, would be awesome. So what that is is basically, I think, yeah, that is 400 times 600. That is 240,000 pixels in the same array. <coughs> so that's basically how many pixel pixels we are having on this. A sec. This screen right here. Proceed. Um, on this screen right here. Um. Why can't I close it? Oh. <laughs> Um, anyways, so, we're going to move on th to the next part, to be honest. Um, we also want the IMG to equal a new, uh, a new buffered image with the parameters width, height, uh, um, buffered image, I don't know, buffered image dot yeah, exactly. Type it should be int RGB. Okay, so I think I <laughs> got that right. Um, and pretty much we also need to one do what, do one more thing with the pixels. Um, and <laughs> wow, I'm I'm a big failure. Um, <laughs> this is actually kind of difficult. I don't know where to initialize this pixel object. Um, maybe I can, like, I'm actually not even going to initialize it right here. I am going to do something else with the pixels instead. And I am also going to create, do public AC, and call it screen. And in here we will instead, um, create a new object out of the screen. Screen, um, equals new AC. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's correct. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to explain everything wh when we're done. Uh, so do pixel equals data buffer int. I know how long time this took for me to learn. <laughs> ng dot get raster um, dot get data buffer dot no. Dot get data. Data. So, that's pretty much what we're going to do with this. And this pixel now, it pretty much turns into an array that can be used um, out of the buffered image, uh, which means that we can use this array for colors now, which is totally amazing because that's what, what, we're, what we really need. So, we are also going to create a new method down here. Do public void, and we're going to call call this render render. That's pretty much for rendering the screen. I mean, like draw the pixels onto the screen. And in the render class, we will need to do additional things. Um, first of all, we need to do buffer. I think it's called the buffer strategy. If not. Um, not, not right, not, not right, um, and I'm gonna call it BS, just short for it, and this dot get buffer strategy, so, let's see, um, gonna try to do this quick, so if BS equals no, uh, pretty much means if BS isn't created yet, uh, then just return, actually, First, we need to create this strategy. So, create buffer strategy, put three in there, 
and we'll also do return so pretty much if it's not created yet we want to create it which would do which would pretty much do right here and then we would like to do in the AC class we would like to create we're actually going to extend this with the AB for later on um, just because we need that uh, and this is going to equal a new integer um, integer width times height what's wrong no definitely not have I done wrong yeah it should work oh aa dot um, that with time aa dot height so pretty much what this does we are actually initializing this variable but what is the aa dot width and aa dot height height Alex that's probably what you're what you're asking yourself that's pretty much we're going to this class or this class is searching for this class because it's called aa and it's taking the variables in this class and it's using them from here because these variables are public which means that it can be used from other classes that what that's pretty much what we're doing right here um i'll go back to the ac and in the ac uh we would like to do private ab render and now you're probably asking yourself well, already it's extended it with the ab why do we need the the render then because we're going to use this as like a screen class we're like going to have this as a screen even if it's extending this AB class uh, we will anyways need to extend it with that just to I actually don't think we need, need to extend with the AB but uh, no we're not uh, going to extend with the AB uh, public 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 AC uh, creating the constructor for, the, for this class doing render equals new AB and the render that's pretty much um, is taking this class and it's it's gonna use it in here uh, like some sort of object um, it's gonna use it for like um, this is the screen class and, and this class is like gonna draw stuff on the screen but this tells this class what to draw so that's why we need the render object uh, random ra equals new random. I I'm actually gonna draw try to do, draw some colors real real quick. Um, and we don't have the random, so import the Java util. Um, I really can't type today. Today, <laughs> today. Um, do four int i equals zero. I is less than yeah. And here, no, oh, render dot pixel, and we can just do 100 pretty much. Um, no, sorry, <laughs> pixel i plus plus just pixel dot length. So, what we want to do now is pretty much um, do ra or render dot pixel i equals ra dot next int uh, so this is pretty much like randomizing the pixels that we're going to draw onto the screen and I actually gotta uh, quit uh, which is very very bad we're running out of time so let's do public void void I, I gotta learn to type fast again my new or my old PC is like super bad for me yeah so anyways um, we can do like draw render because that's what, what we're going to do zero zero and we don't have the draw anyways <laughs> I actually gotta stop the, the recording thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more of these in the next tutorial we'll draw some pixels on the screen and I'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye guys